Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I have a very interesting story for you. It is something that happened in Thailand. And yeah, I would like to hear your opinion. How would you react in that situation? So I tell you how I reacted. And okay, let's start. So I was living in Jom Tien in Thailand, it was near Pattaya and then I was moving out uh, to another city which was maybe one hour drive with a motorbike from Chom Tien and it was a place that um, no tourists live and then I was searching for a place to stay in that city but it was difficult because if the place is not for tourists then it's more difficult to find a room for rent so I was just walking in the streets and then there was a woman approaching me and um, she asked me if I need help and then I said yes I'm looking for a room and she could speak English because she was married to a foreigner before but now she is divorced so I was happy that I had someone who was helping me to find a room and then she knew relatives maybe her grandparents who have an empty room that is free to rent so she brought me to the place and yeah, the room was very basic, it was just a room and nothing inside so and no, yeah, no fan or maybe there was a fan on the ceiling maybe just a ceiling fan but really nothing inside and a little CR and the rent was very very cheap I think it was maybe ten dollar a month or fifteen dollar it was very low but I had to buy furniture uh, especially a bed and a mattress um, I was not sure if I want to stay there because I was used to rent a room that has already a bed and a fridge and um, same like in Jom Tien and in Pattaya most rooms they are already furnished so I I was not sure if I should do it and then the woman said uh, don't worry if you buy a bed then when you leave we will buy the bed from you because they also need a bed like this or they would like to have a bed also so I don't need to worry about the uh, money for buying the bed because they will buy it from me when I leave so I said okay that's a good offer so we went together to the shop we bought a mattress and a frame for the bed I, I don't know how much it cost maybe I think it was not so expensive maybe between 50 and 80 dollars I think something like that so in total the rent and in including the furniture was still maybe together let's say 100 euro or dollar and, and then the time came I mean first um, I needed um, a motorbike because there was no tuk-tuk or motorbike taxi so in that city if you don't have your own motorbike it's very hard to go from one place to another and the place where I lived it was uh, away from the shops where you buy the food or other things so um, she also said that her cousin has a motorbike and uh, willing to 
I rent a motorbike for to me. And then and it was a brand new or almost brand new. Uh, the cousin had to pay the monthly installment and by renting it to me he could earn a little money to pay the installments so um, I accepted the deal because that was also not too expensive maybe fifty dollar for one month and yeah so I had a new almost new motorbike it was driving very well. That was my first time I had a motorbike on my own every day. That was very nice to drive in Thailand. Um, so until this day, there was no problem with the woman and her relatives. She even invited me to her brother. He had a store and he was very friendly. I spent time with her brother and we made even a trip to the sea to go fishing. So everything was good. Until the day came that I wanted to leave Thailand because I was going to the Philippines. And then I said to her that oh, in a few days I will go to the Philippines and can you please um, buy my bed like you promised and then she said oh, now she doesn't have money she has to wait until she has money mm. and i asked if she can borrow it from some from someone because i cannot wait and she said no she cannot borrow okay then that was the time i was uh, upset because she lied to me because she said that's very sure that she will buy it from me so um, now I'm thinking that maybe that was her plan, that if I stay there and I buy a bed, that later they will have a bed for the family, or she can get my bed. Maybe that was her plan from the beginning. But then, uh, but then um, when I was upset, I was still thinking that, oh, um, I still have a brand new motorbike from her cousin. So, if she's, if her attention is to trick me, um, I still have the motorbike, which is much more expensive than just the bed and the mattress. So, the day I left uh, Philippines, I packed all my stuff and I drove with the motorbike to Jomtian. Um, Mm, yeah. So and then mm, the woman came to my room where I rented, and then she saw that I was not there. And then she was very nervous because she knew that I will leave the country and the motorbike is gone. So of course she was very nervous, and then she called me, and then she asked where I am and if I can. Uh, give back the motorbike to them and I said yes I can do that but I want uh, also the money for the bed like you promised to me and then she said okay okay I will give the money don't worry and then um, I agreed and then we met and I said we can meet in Pattaya walking street I will wait there with the motorbike and she will bring the money for the bed then she came um, together with her cousin or brother, I don't know, someone. And then when she came to me, she said, I'm sorry, I don't have money. Like I told you, um, I don't have money. <laughs> then I was very disappointed again, second time, because I thought she will hold her words. But she did not. But of course, um, I have to give back the motorbike because we are already there in the same place together with the motorbike. And I, I will not fight for because of this. I will not cause uh, trouble in public. So I 
Mm, I just accepted that I lost. She was uh, smarter than me. Um, yeah, in the end, it's not a lot of money that I lost. Like I said, um, I stayed there one month and the rent together with the um, bed, it's still $100. So it's not a big a loss. But I don't like if people lie to me. So later I regret that I, I still was talking to her and agreed to the meeting. Maybe I should have just um, find a person outside and hand them over the motorbike and the keys.